Okay, today we will be conducting a SCAT 5 assessment on the patient. Okay, what sport do you play? Cross country. Okay, uh, uh, what school do you go to? Simon Kenton. Uh, when did you suffer your injury? Um, last Wednesday. Last Wednesday. Uh, how many years of education have you completed? 11. 11, okay. How old are you? 16. 16. Your gender? Female. Okay. Dominant hand. Right. right. How, have you ever been diagnosed with a concussion in the past? No. Okay. Um, have you ever been hospitalized for a head injury? No. Uh, diagnosed or treated for headaches or migraines? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, have you ever been diagnosed with a learning disability or dyslexia? No. What about ADD or ADHD? No. Okay. Uh, have you been diagnosed with depression, anxiety, or... Other psych, psych, psych uh, disorders. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so next we're going to do a, a symptom evaluation. So I'm going to read you a series of symptoms, and you're going to write out the numbers from zero to six. And zero meaning that you have not suffered from that symptom or not had that symptom, and six being that it's a very severe symptom. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, so headache. Pressure in head, neck pain, nausea or vomiting, dizziness, blurred vision, balance problems, sensitivity to light, sensitivity to sound, feeling slowed down, feeling like in a fog, you just don't feel right, you have a difficult time concentrating, a difficult time remembering things. You're, you're fatigued or have low energy. Okay, you are often confused. Uh, you feel drowsy. Uh, you seem to be more emotional as of lately. Are you more irritable? Uh, are you more sad? Nervous or anxious? And do you have trouble falling asleep? Okay, let's see what you are here. Okay, so that's uh, 16 out of 22 with a total sub or a symptom severity score of 92 out of 132. Okay, so on to the next. Oh, wait, actually, another question. Do your symptoms get worse, like, the more you exercise? Yes. Yes, okay. And then uh, do they get worse with mental activity, like, at the school? No. So the next step is a cognitive screening. Let's start with orientation. What month is it? November. Uh, what is the date today? The 15th. What day, what is the day of the week? Thursday. What year is it? 2018. What is the current time? 8.08. Okay, good job. Five out of five on, on that section. Okay, so now we're gonna test your immediate memory. So I am going to read you Five words, and you're going to have to try to repeat them back to me in the correct order that I say them. Okay. Finger, penny, blanket, lemon, insect. Finger, penny, blanket, lemon, insect. Yes. Candle, paper, sugar, sandwich, wagon. Candle, paper, sugar, sandwich, wagon. Yes. Dollar. Honey, mirror, saddle, anchor. Ma, can you repeat it, please? Dollar, honey, mirror, saddle, anchor. Dollar, saddle, mirror, honey, anchor? No, you mixed up honey and saddle on that one. So, give you a 10 out of 15. Okay, so next, I'm going to say, I'm going to read off, um, uh, three digits to you, and you have to repeat them to me in the reverse order that I said them. Okay, so four nine three. Three nine four. Six two nine. Nine two six. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna add more digits now. One seven nine five. Five nine one seven. No. And one five nine seven one. Yes. 
Good job. Three, four, eight, one. One, eight, three, four, eight, one. Yes. Okay, I'm going to add another to do. Six, eight, two, five, one. One, eight. No. Six, five, two, eight, one. No. That was not it. Six, one, eight, four, three. Three, four. One, eight, three. No. So on that section, you're going to get a two out of four. So now I'm going to tell you the months of the year in reverse order. Oh, no, you're going to tell me. I'm, I apologize. You're going to tell me the months in reverse order. So December, or we'll start with December. So December and then. November. October. September. August. July. June, May, April, March, February, January. Yes, so you'll get a five out of five on that section. Okay, so uh, uh, I'm going to ask you some yes or no questions. Uh, can you read aloud and follow instructions without difficulty? Yes. Okay. Um, does, uh, do you have a full range of pain free passive cervical spine movement? Yes. Uh, without moving your head or neck, can you look side to side without double vision? Yes. Can I see? Okay. Can the patient perform the finger nose coordination test normally? <laughs> can the patient perform tandem gait normally? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to stand up. Okay, so can you do a double leg stance? Uh, can you, what's, what's your, do, your non-dominant foot? This one. Okay, so do, do a single leg stance on that foot. That's your non-dominant foot? Your left is? Yes. Foot on the, like, you should have your, all your non-dominant foot on the ground. My dominant your foot? Your non-dominant foot should be the only foot on the ground. Okay. Okay, so that is a... 30 out of 30. Okay. And that concludes our SCAT 5 assessment. So I will get back to you with the score.